Thalassophobia. It's the persistent and intense fear of deep bodies of water, and can include the vastness of the sea, sea waves, and aquatic animals. It's a fairly common phobia to have, and it's understandable given the fact that only 95% of our oceans have been explored, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. That means we have only seen 5% of the ocean, and on top of that we've only mapped out 20% of the ocean floor, which means that we know more about Mars than we do about our own ocean. Something so vast and unknown is absolutely terrifying for people. What would happen to you if you were stranded in the middle of the ocean not knowing where to go? Not only is it a habitat that we are not built to survive in, and something that is completely unknown to us, it's also teeming with life that is still being discovered. Which is why if I were to show you images or videos of deep sea creatures, they might instill some kind of fear within you. Because you know, and I know, these are the creatures that we found, but there still might be many more. After all, a lot of these creatures weren't known to exist until just a few decades ago. And before that, they were seen as a myth, touted by sailors. So if I were to sit here and tell you now that mermaids do in fact exist, you would laugh in my face. And that would be a reasonable reaction to have, given the mythological nature of mermaids. They're not supposed to be some kind of real sea creature, they're just made up fantasy. But if I was then to present you with concrete evidence of mermaids existing, of footage found of mermaids, of receipts from government authorities, of interviews with government officials, and clear evidence of a cover-up from the government of a creature that we do not understand, who is quite related to us, just in a different habitat, you would have a harder time refuting that. And that is exactly what happened in 2012 with the mockumentary Mermaids The Body Found. This aired on the Animal Planet and Discovery Channel back in the summer of 2012. It was shown as a documentary which was exposing the truth of mermaids in our world and a cover-up to hide them from us. And what made it so believable was that they mixed fact with fiction. One of their main pieces of real evidence that they used in this documentary, or mockumentary, was the bloop sound. This was a sound that was recorded in 1997 by a microphone in the deep ocean. It was audible from over 5,000 kilometers away, but the problem with that is that nothing on our planet that we know of is capable of making a sound this loud. Not even blue whales, which are the largest known creatures on the planet. Theories about this range from the mundane, of icebergs collapsing and creating a loud noise, to the fantastical of even larger creatures existing in the ocean that we just haven't discovered yet. But when you hear this sound, knowing that it's something we still aren't sure of, something that may have been made by a creature that we don't understand or have even seen, it strikes this horrific fear in you. And mermaids the bodies found took this and ran with it. They used it as one of their main points of this documentary, a thread that was weaved throughout it. Throughout this documentary, they do interviews with officials who are obviously, as we now know, paid actors. These were researchers who were looking into the bloop sound and found stuff that they hadn't expected to find including alleged footage of a mermaid being kept in captivity in a government facility, and interviews from people who were claiming to know about this. Also finding footage from a camera phone from two young boys who had found a mermaid washed up on the beach and subsequently had been silenced by government officials. And this is just a brief view of everything that they went into in this mockumentary. It was very thorough, they had everything explained, they had so much 
fake evidence to talk about. And not only that, but they had biological evidence, they had bones, they had spears, they had things that they couldn't explain unless it actually came from a mermaid. I have something I'd like to say before we move on, which is that there is only a few hours left of my Kickstarter. If you don't know, I started a Kickstarter to help me publish my first novel, my debut novel in a series, uh, which is about mermaids and Irish mythology. It's a dark fantasy and you guys have been so supportive of it. Thank you so much. But there is now only a few hours left to pledge to help me make this book be as good as it can possibly be. By pledging certain amounts, you can get rewards like signed paperback, different bundles, which have things like prints and stickers. You can get the ebook, digital bundles, short stories, lots of different stuff there. And I've also made some add-ons, which you can get on top of your pledge if you'd like to. So this is stuff like extra prints, digital short stories, lots of cool stuff for you to check out there. So. Again, only a few hours left to check this out. In the link in my description is the link to the Kickstarter where you can read more about what is actually in the book, the plot of the book, the story, what you can expect from it, what kind of story it is, as well as details on what I'm doing the Kickstarter for, why I need to do a Kickstarter. So please do check that out, even if it's just to read what the story is about and see if you're interested. And if you can't donate, that's absolutely fine, I understand, but share it around if, if you think it's something that sounds cool. You guys have been amazing so far, so let's just go for this last little push of the Kickstarter and I'm just so excited for you guys to get to read this book, like I've just, <laughs> I've loved writing it, I loved creating it, I, and I love mermaids, I love mermaids and deep sea creatures and fantasy and all of this, so please, please do check it out, um, I appreciate all of the support, so thank you so much. Uh, again, that's in the description, only a few hours left, now let's move on with the rest of the video. Throughout this documentary as well, they also gave the biological and evolutionary explanation as to how mermaids could be real, talking about a time in human history where some apes went into the land, some went into the ocean and stayed there and continued to evolve as homo sapiens continue to evolve in the form that we know ourselves today. The research was meticulous. The answers were irrefutable. If only the evidence had been real. But that's the thing. It's not. It was a fake documentary, docufiction or mockumentary, as we know it today. But this wasn't hidden at the time. In fact, they did put disclaimers on this mockumentary that it was a work of fiction, and it showed like that on the Animal Planet and on Discovery Channel. But the issue was, these disclaimers were pretty small, and a lot of people missed them. On top of that, it was coming from well-renowned sources like Animal Planet and the Discovery Channel, which only really showed real documentaries, real nature. It wasn't something like the History Channel, which was showing ancient aliens. Plus, you have to remember this was a time before streaming services, and people were just clicking on shows, maybe not watching the whole thing, watching parts of it, maybe missing the end, missing the beginning. A lot of people could have simply missed the disclaimer, and the ones who saw it probably didn't even see it properly because it was so small. This meant that because of this mockumentary, people genuinely believed that mermaids existed and the government of the United States of America had tried to cover it up. And this caused huge controversy. People were condemning the show for not making the disclaimers larger or being more obvious with it because people really truly believed that mermaids existed that this was real, that the whole documentary was real, that all the evidence that they showed was real when it wasn't. Plus, it's worth noting that this originally premiered on the Animal Planet in May before making its way to the Discovery Channel, and it received 1.9 million views on that one premiere on Animal Planet. It was the channel's most viewed show. Plus, there was even more views when it went on the Discovery Channel with the vast majority of people not realising that it was fake. In 2012, after this premiered, an article was posted on Today. Were you fooled by Animal Planet's mermaid special? 
If you were unnerved over the holiday weekend by Animal Planet's special Mermaids The Body Found, take a deep breath. It's okay to go back in the water again, and you can quit eyeing your copy of The Little Mermaid suspiciously. The two-hour program is fiction, but it's presented in documentary style, with actors playing scientists who claim to have found the body of a mermaid on a Washington state beach. The channel admits this in a press release about the special, saying, The film is science fiction, using science as a springboard into imagination. But that didn't stop some from being sucked in and believing what they saw. Urban legend site Snopes.com added the mermaid's hoax to its site on Tuesday. The site began its posting by quoting an email reading, in part, In this documentary, they showed a video that was taken from a boy's phone on the beach. It shows a live mermaid. Now my father and I would like to know if this video is real. I don't like to say that we're suckers to everything we hear, but I'm open to new ideas. Snopes.com creators Barbara and David P. Mickelson quickly debunked the hoax, pointing out that the program was not fact, but rather speculative science fiction, and it included obvious CGI-produced video sequences. It was a big enough deal that even Snopes had to come out and say that this wasn't real, that people were misinformed, that it was all just a hoax. Which means, to this day, people are still being fooled by this mockumentary into thinking that there was a government cover-up of the existence of mermaids and our evolution entirely. But if you really sit and think about it for a minute, it kind of makes sense why people would believe this. Because it was a well-done documentary. It had evidence, skeletons, spears, artifacts, footage of mermaids. It was extremely believable. But not only that, it's the fact that we know we haven't explored 95% of the ocean. It's the fact that we know that to this day we're still discovering new sea creatures. We truly don't know what's going on down there. And for all we know, there could be mermaids. There could be something that branched off in our evolution, or there could be some kind of humanoid-like aquatic creature that is living in the water right now as we speak, because we can't disprove that. With so much of our ocean unexplored and unknown to us, how could we possibly sit here and say that without a shadow of a doubt, mermaids aren't real? And that was what this mockumentary preyed on. It preyed on the understanding that we don't understand, that there's so much that we don't know. But even if it was all lies, maybe one day we'll find out that the truth wasn't that far off after all. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please leave me a comment and let me know what you think about this. Have you ever seen Mermaids the Body Found? Because I sat down and I watched the whole thing with some popcorn. I thought it was a fantastic piece of docu-fiction. Please don't forget to check out the Kickstarter. I really, really appreciate it. There's only a few hours left. And even if you've already pledged, there are some add-ons that you can get, which I already mentioned. So check it out. And I just want to say in advance, thank you so much for all of the support on that. And I can't wait for you guys to read my book about mermaids, which is purely fictional, of course. Comment, share, follow me on social media. I'm Vangelina Skov everywhere. Subscribe, of course, for more videos from me. And do let me know if you like this style of content. I would kind of like to branch out and do more different things. So, you know, let me know if you like it. Um, I think the quote from Game Grumps is, when it comes to YouTube videos, you vote with your views. So if you do like it, share it around to somebody, you know, you think might like it too. Anyway, have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.